Hello and welcome to the show. My name is Alex and this is TechFlow. Today we're doing an old fashioned mouse review, computer mouse review. This is the ROG Spartha. Let's do this. So this is a high quality mouse, top of the end range mouse. But first, let's go over what we get in the box. In the box you get the manual, you get a docking station for charging and receiving the mouse's signal, you get a braided cable to connect the docking station to the computer or if you preferred wired mode you can connect that said cable to the mouse, connect it straight to your computer and have a wired mouse experience. Please note this is a micro USB cable so you can use any micro USB cable, you don't have to use the one that's provided. A really nice carrying case to fit everything inside and the mouse itself. Right, so right off the bat, this mouse has got an 8200 dpi sensor which works the same in wired and wireless mode. It's an exclusively right-handed mouse which features 12 programmable buttons with 6 easy access thumb buttons for MMO type games with this cool like glowing shape on the side of the mouse which makes it really stand out. But before we get into the performance and all the specs, let's talk about the looks and usability. The mouse is as big as it is beautiful. The RGB customization is incredible with swooping modes, flashing modes, status indication modes and you can also sync all three areas. So you've got the actual scroll wheel itself, the ROG logo and the six programmable buttons on the side. You can, you can have all of those different colors and all of them in different modes or you can sync them all together if you'd like. Customization is a big hit with this mouse. It can fit with any setup. The docking station has magnets in it to keep the mouse in place and I found myself blue tacking the dock to the desk to keep it in place. So all that I'd have to do is just come over and drop my mouse on it and then when I wanted to pick the mouse up, the docking station would stay on the desk. The whole mouse feels amazing to use thanks to its sturdy magnesium alloy chassis. This mouse is definitely on the larger side though, so if you've got large hands this is going to be great for you. Obviously, right hand only. Works for me, I'm left handed but I use my mouse with the right hand anyway. And it's like a claw type grip mouse mainly. Inside the mouse we've got a 2000 hertz polling rate in wired mode and the previously mentioned uh, 8200 dpi sensor and it's 1 to 5 millimeter lift off distance. Now the software is what makes this mouse come alive, the utility engine software. Once loading up the software you can clearly see that this is where everything goes on. The mouse has actually got inbuilt flash memory so you can store profiles to the mouse and then take the mouse elsewhere and still have those profiles available to you. It can remember your profiles on the actual mouse. Now I really don't know if this is just my software or my experience, I've got everything updated and I'm hoping they're going to bring an update out soon but my software at the moment is super laggy and super glitchy and sometimes when I click apply it just doesn't do anything, it just does the absolute opposite of what I've told it to. Hopefully an update can sort this but let's go through what you can actually do in the software. You can change the DPI, the polling rate, the lift off distance, the lighting effects, everything. Even in wireless mode, wireless mode, this mouse is capable of a 1000 Hz polling rate, 2000 in wired. You can also calibrate the mouse to your surface and there's also pre-set mouse mats available for you to choose from. And the macro system is, well, like any normal macro system, you can map it to any key on your keyboard, but also get it to launch programs and, and open up Windows controls, like Windows media controls, volume, skip, play, pause, your Spotify or your, your, you know, your media player on your computer. Macros are pretty standard. Now how's the battery life with this mouse? It's my major gripe with it actually. You can set it, right, so that the LEDs flash when the mouse is like at 10%, 20%, 30%, you can specify when it starts flashing. I don't even get to that flashing stage. Like my mouse just, I think it's constantly on. I think I've got a setting wrong somewhere. But I just, it just like, I have to always have it on charge for some reason. I don't know if it's a problem with my software, but I'm having a load of problems with it. I'm sure there's a standby feature and it's turned on, but my mouse just doesn't seem to turn itself off. It always seems to be like there, awake all the time, and it just rinses the battery. And I find myself having to go and grab a micro USB cable to actually use my computer, use the mouse to plug it in to charge it whilst I'm using it. And then once it's charged, I can, you know, use it in wireless again. 
But I just find that the battery life goes on this thing super quick and it's not putting itself into standby mode. This is just my experience, hopefully it won't be yours. But other than that, I think it's an absolutely gorgeous mouse. For me anyway, I have like quite large, quite broad hands. I have a claw type grip, I'm right handed, I've got all those MMO buttons for when I'm playing League of Legends. Lighting customization matches my Corsair keyboard, my K7E RGB rapid fire. I can have them have the same lighting effects, which is really cool. But if it works on the battery life, it'd have to be an awesome mouse. But unfortunately the battery life, just for me, it's just, it's just not giving me enough time to use my mouse. It's just really not. And it's a shame really, because I really enjoy using it. I'm hoping that's just my experience though. A lot of people have seen the mouse on my desk and asked for a little short review of it. So that was my thoughts of the mouse. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment section down below. But for now, my name's been Alex, this has been Techflow. And we'll catch you in the next one. Oh, 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 oh,